All right, I think I have enough footage and experience using these shoes in all kinds of weather, so a review is coming, but um, daily backflip. What is going on today guys? So those tofu noodles, uh, actually not that bad. You know, I was really surprised because I had just like assumed that they were just gonna dissolve into the soup, like the broth, and uh, they didn't. They were actually really good, tasted like real noodles, pleasantly surprised. So, I don't know, I, I might actually try, try them again sometime, but uh, anyways. For today's video, I uh, wanted to take some time to talk about the Allbirds shoes that I've got. So I've had them for a little bit over a month now and I wanted to talk about them, but I wanted to also just put them through their paces. I feel like now I've got enough miles, both literally and figuratively in the shoes and through different weather uh, that we've had in town. So I think it's a good time to go ahead and just like, you know, let people know how they've been, how they performed. So for those who don't know, Allbirds are a brand of shoe. They're at allbirds.com and they're made out of a company that's, I think they started out in New Zealand, but it's made from they're known for their uh, merino wool shoes. They have two styles. I think there are runners, uh, have the natural gray runners, and they've also got a style, I think they're called lounders, but you can actually pair them with some more, I guess, more formal wear and just pull it off really well. The so first thing, I guess, their shoes are made out of merino wool. So like, why wool? I mean, the wool is typically, you think of it as something that you'd wear in the winter to keep you warm, but merino wool, like it's the, it's the most magic fabric, or close to magic fabric you're gonna get. Like it keeps you warm in the winter and it keeps you cool in the heat and just like it doesn't get smelly very easily and just it just works really really well that natural thermo regulation you gotta love it all right so up to now i've gone through both a four mile and a five mile hike uh, once through snow once just in just in very cold weather i think it was like 20 degrees fahrenheit or so i really didn't expect these to hold up very well i mean they're soft they're super lightweight sometimes it feels like you're not even wearing shoes but they're super comfortable so it's like you're walking on clouds but without any anyways I didn't expect much out of these shoes, um, but they kept my feet much more warm than, you know, my leather boots had. They kept them very dry, and they just held up incredibly well. I mean, the shoes, the actual wool portion of it looks like, looks the same as the day I got it, which that might be just one, me being careful, and two, because you can throw them in the wash and clean them off again. So. They held up very, very well. I was very surprised. I've also worn these through quite a few different rains. I mean, it rained a, f a good amount. I wasn't too happy with it, but I got to try out the shoes in the rain. Not with the intention of going out of my way to jump into rain puddles, but also not really going out of my way to avoid them. And, you know, typically I'm used to wearing just these leather boots, like I mentioned, and just walking through and my feet would stay completely dry because they're really good quality leather boots. Now, these are wool shoes. I was expecting nothing again out of these things, but apparently merino wool could hold up to 35% of its weight in water while keeping your feet dry, while not getting really smelly in the wet in the rain. Strangely enough, that's what I experienced wearing these. I didn't expect it, but it worked out really well. I wouldn't go out of my way. Like I would definitely not, you know, walk into a, com a, a complete rainstorm and just stand there and see how the shoes perform. That seems a little bit unrealistic, but if you're just get going from place to place, you're walking through the rain, you know, you're, you're probably going to be all right wearing these, wearing these shoes. These shoes are extremely comfortable. Um, you, when you first put them on, it's like you're walking on clouds. They've got their own special, like this proprietary blend foam thing that they put use for the soles. It just, it feels really great. You can wear these all day. I've worn these all day. They're incredibly comfortable to wear and just to do work in and I mean, yeah, they're, they're as comfortable as shoes can get in my opinion. Again, I typically just wear leather boots, so these were an obvious step up in terms of comfort. Another thing that I wanted to mention for these shoes, and this is probably more relevant to just to me or anybody who likes to jump a lot or be very active in these shoes, they're incredibly lightweight. Like, they are very lightweight. I know that there was a, a clear difference for me when I began doing backflips, I do a daily backflip on this vlog. 
But when I began to do backflips with these shoes on versus when I had the boots on, like it's just, it just felt unreal. I could jump incredibly high, it was ridiculous. So yeah, very, very lightweight shoe if you do parkour or you just wanna run around in these things. And now I mentioned earlier, you can just throw these shoes into the, into the laundry. And the reason, because I mean, there are wool shoes, they're gonna get dirty because they're shoes and you wear them outside. But yeah, you just pull off the laces, toss them in the washer. You wash them, I think, on cold, pull them out, let them air dry, it takes about a day and you're good to go again. And that's one cool thing about the shoes. I guess it just makes them easy to wash. Um, but there is that whole wait till they dry before you wear them again thing because you do not throw them in the dryer. And I mean, it's convenient, but I guess because you can, you, you can just clean the shoes off, but also there's that day wait. So you're gonna have to keep that in mind if you ever do decide to wash them. Uh, both styles go for about $95 at allbirds.com. And uh, while I've only had them for about a month, uh, I hope that they last as long as I... My shoes typically last a year to two years. Um, it's only been one month, so we'll see how they perform later on as time goes on. Um, but if they do work out and they last really well for that long, then, you know, for the price, I think these are definitely worth it. They're just, they're just good. It's a good shoe. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.